Here we have for sale our 2019 on a 69 plate Ford Transit Custom. This is a 320 model, meaning it's got a 3.2 tonne gross vehicle weight. This is the long wheelbase, so L2, and uh, did start its life as a double cab. We'll talk you through the modifications which have been done to this vehicle uh, during this video. This has got the 2 litre TDCI Euro 6 uh, 130 brake horsepower engine which is accompanied with a six-speed manual gearbox it's in the fantastic orange glow uh, metallic paintwork and it is in the limited spec so what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around i'll show you the spec that you get on limited there are a number of optional extras on this particular vehicle from factory there's also um, modifications which have been done afterwards including the seats and other things on the outside as well so we'll talk you through those uh, we'll also talk you through the condition in detail um, and uh, also the ownership and things like that seeing as this vehicle is currently available for sale at the time of recording so as we always do we'll start you at the rear of the vehicle we can see that this one is specced with rear barn doors barn doors are two doors which open in that sort of fashion um, on a limited you get a number of elements which come color coded that includes this little trim here above the rear number plate the door handles all the door handles on the vehicle come color coded uh, the front and rear uh, bumper as well and also some trims down the side which i'll uh, show you uh, a bit later in the video. In terms of condition of the rear doors, I can see that there are a couple of minor touch-ins here just to the uh, rear door. Uh, certainly nothing severe, but if there is anything that I can see, I will gladly point that out to you during the video. In terms of the rear bumper, I must say it's all looking in very good condition. Of course, like any used vehicle, you are going to get the odd stone chip and things like that here or there, but all in all, looking in very very good order a bit of spec that you get as standard is rear parking sensors you can see there that they are nicely integrated there into the rear bumper and they do come as standard as well with this uh, sort of plastic uh, bumper protector on top of the rear bumper this one has had a tow trust detachable tow bar fitted um, which uh, is lovely to see uh, we can also see that it has got uh, of course the electrics under there so it's got um, a seven pin electric uh, adapter there but that would be going into a 13 pin plug so uh, it's nice to know that the adapter is there if you need it on this particular vehicle you can see that it has got a reversing camera which wouldn't be standard on the limited spec so again lovely to see that as well if we open up the rear barn doors then we can start to have a look inside the load area and this is, where, this is where things on this van really start to get very interesting so when you open up the rear barn doors you'll see this little um, yellow handle just here give that a pull that then clips into place there against the rear door and that allows you to open the door right out to its full 180 degree position and of course you can do exactly the same with the other door as well it will just as standard lock into place there at 90 degrees um, you can then go ahead and open it right out to its full 180 degree position like so and then this is where we can start to see the uh, as a interior of the load space so first thing to note is that the van has been lined in the back so you can see we've got carpet lining here to the bottom panels of the rear doors and then looking inside as well you can see that we've got carpet lining inside on each side there as well with some handy little hooks which have been added on both sides love it to have it lined it just really gives it a more car like feel um, and then what has been changed here are these rear seats so as standard a uh, transit custom double cab uh, will come with a bulkhead across here to give you separation between the cab and the load space and then the seats are fixed so they are bolted into the floor on this particular example the rear seats have been changed to transit custom tornio seats um, the benefit of that is that they are um, much more adjustable. So there's three individual seats which you can operate, as I say, completely individually. Um, you can fold them up, uh, you can recline them um, individually, so you can just recline, um, fold this middle one down which gives you uh, a sort of a couple of cup holders and things, and crucially they are quick release so you can just remove these without having to undo any fastenings or anything like that, uh, and you can do that uh, very quickly indeed. 
what uh, then of course has been done is the bulkhead has been uh, removed and that allows you then the full flexibility that you could take those seats out or one or two of those seats out to give you a longer load length so very very interesting to see that but in terms of condition here in the back as so you can see we've got the um, wheel arch protectors there there are a couple of tie down points in the back here as well to tie cargo down the floor has been changed as well to uh, of course accommodate the fixings for the rear seats as well but this is a nice um, what they would call a, a, I guess like an alto uh, plastic uh, easy wipe down uh, rear flooring uh, another optional extra on this particular vehicle is LED load lights that would have come from factory uh, say can't really see it in this sort of light but certainly when um, it becomes uh, a lower light condition much much better to have these lovely LED lights if we shut the rear doors then we can start to go around the rest of the vehicle and start to have a look at some of the condition here but as I say in this sunlight I think this orange glow looks absolutely fantastic looking then down the passenger side of the vehicle so we can have a look here at the passenger side loading door the passenger front door there is I just see a tiny little uh, just caught my eye then a tiny little pin dent I think just here so it's very minor I can't even I can't actually see it again now but uh, yeah tight there's a tiny little pin dent just there but looking very very nice indeed I've left the doors open here so you can get a good look in the back here so as I say these aren't aftermarket seats these have come from a a uh, factory Ford vehicle. Uh, the Tornio is the vehicle with eight or nine seats, so a third row of seats. Um, and we do have a certificate of conformity for the fitment of these seats as well. So they have been uh, fitted correctly. Sorry about that. Just bear with me one second. They are ISOFIX compatible and they do have um, an armrest on each outer um, seat as well. And as I say, you can actually recline these uh, and as I say completely remove them if you wanted to and this gives you a good view here at the back of the front seats there twin side loading doors being a factory double cab and they do come with an opening window as well if we shut this side loading door we can start to have a look uh, down the side of the vehicle then and you can just see how clean and tidy this is other bits which have been added to this particular example are these lovely 18 inch gloss black and diamond cut Wolf Race Assassin alloy wheels and we've also got the lovely black sidebars as well so I think it just really uh, enhances the look of the vehicle and then moving around to the front you can see that color-coded front bumper color-coded mirrors you get front fog lights as standard and you also get front parking sensors as well uh, and as I say I think accompanying that with the uh, lovely alloy wheels and the sidebars looks absolutely fantastic and then the last sort of enhancement which has been done to this is the lovely Ford Trail grill so again a proper Ford product just gives a totally different look to the vehicle and I think a massive massive improvement another optional extra on this particular example is the Bi-Xenon HID headlights uh, so much brighter better performing headlight they also come uh, as the other ones do as well but with this lovely LED daytime running light here around the outside in terms of condition here to the front again a couple of stone chips and things but all in all looking very very good there's no sort of um significant issues or any issues really that i can see there all looking very very nice looking then down the driver side again you can just see how lovely the paintwork is on this van we've got another aspect here of those lovely rear seats so you can operate the outer seats using these handles here so you can um, fold them down flip them forward if you go over to our, the full advert with a photography you will see a picture in its various positions and looking here then down the driver's side of the vehicle looking in fantastic condition just seeing if there's anything that i can point out to you here sorry gimbal's having a funny five minutes today but looking very very good indeed if we have a look inside the cab then we'll start to have a look at the spec inside here so the steps all in lovely order looking at the driver's seat we have height adjustability on the driver's seat also thigh adjustability driver's armrest which is adjustable as well lovely condition of the driver's seat no excessive wear or anything there sorry about this we have uh, electric windows electric 
folding mirrors, auto-activated lights, also auto-activated uh, wipers as well. You can see that we have three keys with the vehicle. And looking here at the steering wheel, leather multifunctioning steering wheel, we've got your cruise control settings on here, also your volume controls for the radio and the onboard computer. And then you can see the mileage here, 28,841 miles. On top of the dashboard here, you can see that we have got uh, a USB and a 12 volt socket and I've got the USB occupied at the moment. Reason for that is this has got the Sync 3 screen, so you have got full Apple CarPlay on here. Of course, um, you know, just an absolutely fantastic system to use. Uh, and you've also got, as you can see, I'm showing the sat nav screen. You've also got your reversing camera on here. You can listen to your music on here via Apple Music as well if you'd like to. Looking just down below that, you can see that we've got the air conditioning, heated seats, heated windscreen buttons all there. Uh, another USB and a 12 volt socket there as well. And also you can see here the six speed manual gearbox to go along with that 130 brake horsepower engine. Lovely cup holder just hidden under there. And we've also got in the middle a little fold down work tray just there with a couple of cup holders as well. But in terms of condition in here, uh, absolutely faultless, all in lovely, lovely order inside the cab. Apologies for the camera work on this particular one. The uh, gimbal is not uh, playing ball, should we say, so um, sorry if it's a little bit more uh, sort of instable than usual. But just to summarise this particular example, 2019 on a 69 plate Ford Transit Custom. It's a 320 model, which is highly unusual. Lovely host of optional extras, including the Bi-Xenon uh, HID headlights. This one's actually got the three-pin socket in the cab as well, uh, which is located underneath the handbrake. Very nice extra to have. LED headlights, reversing camera. And then on top of that, we've got the Tow Trust tow bar uh, a detachable tow bar, should I say, the 18-inch Wolf Race Assassin alloy wheels, trail front grille, we've also got the uh, the sidebars, and then the all-important uh, Transit Custom Tornio rear removable quick-release seats. Uh, you can also, as I say, you can recline them as well, a really much better solution in my opinion. Upon arrival, this vehicle has been right through our workshop, so we've given it a full service, including uh, rear brake pads as well, but an absolutely Fantastic example. Registered, I believe this one in October uh, 2019, so it's uh, actually covered under manufacturer's warranty until October uh, 22, and uh, not going to be due its first MOT until then as well. And of course, Euro 6, so fully ULES compliant as well. If you'd like to see the full advert uh, for this vehicle, please head over to our website listed there on the sign, bridgeendvans.co.uk. We'll welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign. Uh, we can, of course, arrange finance at very competitive rates, and that goes for private individuals and uh, limited companies, with rates starting as low as 7.9% APR. Of course, the flat rate is much lower than that, uh, but a 7.9% APR is where the finance starts, and we can take cars or vans in part exchange, and we can also do nationwide delivery. Thank you very much for watching.